Real quick, before we get into the video, if you have not yet, the streamer awards are going on and it would really mean a lot to me if you could nominate me for Hidden Gem and maybe even Rising Star, but more importantly, Hidden Gem. Uh, it would really mean the world to me. I'll leave a link uh, below in the comments and in the description. And yeah, that's about it. Nominations close today. So get to it if you haven't yet, please. And thank you. Now to the video. Bro, TikToker deports her ex for cheating on her. What? I have so many questions. This TikToker deported her ex-boyfriend when she found out he cheated on her. People get famous for all sorts of stuff, but deporting your ex-boyfriend is definitely an interesting come up story. And I mean, hey, there's a lot of confusion when it comes to the story as it went down on the Latin American side of TikTok. But all right. this is so viral that it spilled into Based the English comma side deserve, of things probably, due to how yeah. ridiculous the headline is. I mean, come on. She yeah. deported her boyfriend because he cheated on her. That's oh insane. So the main video has 40 million views. Here are the claims. You have this TikToker by name of MonsUser555 who went right. through a very rough patch in her life with her now ex-boyfriend. There were two main issues with their relationship. Number one, apparently he lied to her about his citizenship. Number two, he oh. cheated on her. When she found out that he was here illegally and cheated on her, she came up with this devious plan to put it lightly. You know, where did it come from? Kind of kidnapping him and bringing him back across the border. How did she do this though? Well, yeah, like she how? surprised him by going to Six Flags because what? conveniently what? she was two hours away from Six Flags and two hours away from the border. So they left <laughs> the night before so they could spend the whole next. <laughs> did she just. Drive over the border, drop them out there, and left him there, or what? Why not report him? Yeah, I don't know either. And the stamping fury is being cheated on by getting him deported seems a bit extreme. I... I don't know. Today at Six Flags. She drove, he was tired, so he fell asleep, and when he woke up, he was at the Mexican border crossing. Oh boy. And there's a few reasons I'm making this video. Number one, the, the headline is just so bizarre. And number two, yeah, 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 so that's why we clicked. comments on this video going, what's going on? We see the headline, but we don't know the story. Can someone translate it? Yeah. So, uh, I took it upon myself to try to run it through an AI dubbing tool so we <laughs> too can get oh, the God. gist of what's happening. Obviously, it's a dubbing tool. It's not going to be 100% accurate, but it's good enough Bit extreme, but whatever makes the content, I guess. I think it's probably better than killing him, you know? At least he wasn't physically harmed. So we actually understand the story. So let's take a look at that together. Okay, story time of how I returned my ex-boyfriend to Mexico without him noticing. <laughs> well, to begin Such with, Such a bizarre I story. They were cheating on me because we had gone on vacation. So when we got back, I wanted to transfer some photos to my cell phone. And uh -huh. then if you see that, I mean, on the iPhone, like the two up, and you see like many tabs and here in the United States, Snap is used a lot. So there was a message and I remember that I got in to see the messages and in Snap, the messages are erased. So I remember that I saw, I remember I saw, I mean, the message and there were many that were saved and you can see them. I mean, they are not deleted. And I remember that there were even photos and I said, no, I mean, he's cheating on Why me. Why would you say And I remember them? that I got in and I saw the name Just and I got into his contacts follow. and I said, I mean, that's very cheeky, cheeky, cheeky that... And I realized Why would he then save that I went them? to the bathroom like this. But the bathroom made me cry. I was crying and I was angry. Angry and I was... The truth is I was thinking, I mean, this can't stay like this. I mean, I need revenge. I wanted revenge, the truth. And I was thinking, what can I do? What can I do? And I thought, if I tell him what... I mean, I'm going to tell him what I saw and I... I mean, I'm going to run him off. <laughs> The dude quite literally effed around and found out. I mean, they look young. They look young 20s. So, uh, you really look did effed yeah. around and find out. So she's really starting the movement. Don't cheat. You might get deported if you don't have a citizenship. The situation's so bizarre. I mean, oh, man. But he's going to go with her. I mean, and I was also like, I mean, I'll help you come and everything. And like, I felt like, well, I mean, he's going to come out on top, you know? He Wait, wait, wait. He was using her to get into the country? So he could go with to another woman? Wait, did I just get that right? What can I do? And I thought, if I tell him what... I mean, I'm going to tell him what I saw, and I... 
I mean, I'm going to run him off. <laughs> The dude quite literally effed around and found out. I mean, they look young. They look young 20s. So uh, he really did F around and find out. So she's really starting the movement. Don't cheat. You might get deported if you don't have a citizenship. Bring up marriage to uncommon. Yeah, I know. But like the fact that he just did that. The situation's so bizarre. I mean, oh man. But he's going to go with her. I mean, and I was also like, I mean, I'll help you come and everything. And like, I felt like, well, I mean, he's going to come out on top, you know? And I remember what I thought, I said, I'm going to send him back to Mexico. And I thought, well, obviously, if I tell him to go back to Mexico, he's obviously not stupid. I mean, nobody is going to say no to me. I mean, he's just going to leave my apartment and that's all. And I remember okay. that I thought, I am going to take him back to Mexico because he's not going to leave. I said he is never going to leave. Then I remember that San Antonio, where we live, is two hours away from San Antonio. Okay. It's probably the AI translation that makes it a little bit wonky. In that case, he got his justice. Uh, his just dessert. So hard to follow it. It's because of the AI translation. And it is at the same time. I mean, San Antonio is two hours away and Laredo is two hours away. I feel like she had the directions. Like, there was, two, there was two pathways here. Either she could yell at him and throw a flip-flop at him or deport him. Clearly, Latina rage is no joke. And I, I could say that because I've been with a half Latina for more than seven it really ain't no joke though that is that is true you don't want to piss off the latinos clearly with some it's especially not a joke this is just such a wild story but i rocked the road to san antonio so I and i also rocked the road I to i mean to get to laredo for laredo so i remember i said i'm going to tell him he was a yes i thought i'm going to tell him let's go to san antonio right now to go to six flags tomorrow because everything it's was so lined much up. extra everything, everything, work everything, though everything. man like it's so much effort like literally could have just reported to him in that case, why why do the extra effort? Because he was resting That's the next so day. That's so much. Mm, and I remember I told him, no, we are going to Six Flags tomorrow and we are leaving right now. I mean, now that it is night and we arrived to take advantage of the whole day and it was already happening. Tomorrow we are not coming back and we were already making reservations at Quinta. And I remember that, right? I thought, and no, I mean, if he wants us to stop, I mean, on the way to the bathroom or something like that, to look on the GPS for an exit. I mean, for a gas or a stripes or something, or if he wants to eat at a Wendy's, something nearby, and then he will realize that we are not going to San Antonio, we are going to Laredo. I mean, I was thinking, right? And I remember before we left, I told him, like, hey, don't you want to go to the bathroom? I mean, go to the <laughs> Some fucking five fucking ditches. Revenge is meaningless if you don't do it yourself. Yeah, I guess I... <laughs> I, I guess so. I guess so. It's a lot of effort, but it was an immediate solution. Is she crazy though? Definitely. Definitely. Bathroom so we can go, I mean, straight to the bathroom. So she's just fully stop. mastermind in this. In front of my house, there is a strip mall. So in the strip mall, I told him, well, we have to buy things and that's it. And I said to her, no, well, you, I will drive all the time. And because it was not much time, it was two hours. And I said to her, I will drive all the time, you go to sleep, and now when we get to the hotel, I will talk to you, I mean, so that you can rest. And I remember okay. that when the first checkup happened, I was, I mean, we were going to arrive, and I remember that I was thinking, oh no, I mean, if I'm going to get to the hotel, I'm not going to get to the hotel. Oh no, I mean, if it will be right or wrong. But I remembered the messages, but I was so angry. I mean, I swear to you that I had a bad feeling. I swear to you that I had a feeling of anger. I mean, I would come back and I would say, yes, it's good that you are doing this. I mean, I was cheering myself because then I would think, no, I mean, what a bad weight. She deported him in rage. This is such an insane story. On one side, yeah, man, don't you know your girl. On the other, she kidnapped him. This is just like so I many mean, levels of messed up. But then I would also it think, is. I, mean, I brought it, I'll return it, and I had paid, and it was like, no, I'm going to return it to you. And, and I remember that I went through the first one, and in the first one, I mean, it just went through. I mean, they didn't Holy. even say anything to me. And in the second one, when you go to Mexico. So, what I'm getting from this, do not piss off the latinos <laughs> do not piss off the latinos chat holy shit there's no way she spoke that fast but the shot was sped up uh it's ai translated keep that in mind it's ai translated so if they see that there is a little side like that then they stop like you she and spoke you this originally like and your things so on that side Latin, they did that to Latin. me they told me no come Spanish. to the other side i mean to go to the other side to go to the other side that they were going to check the truck and i already lowered the glass and it is in that glass that i went up that they are checking it right and was he that, awake? I mean, they were checking, I mean, the truck, and obviously he had already noticed, and he started to tell me that, no, why are you doing this to me? What are you doing and all that? 
and, oh no well, i mean i i didn't i didn't i didn't say anything to him i mean i started to tell him like i really told him no well Mm -mm. Mm, you you want to be a bastard? Well, be a bastard, I told him, but start with zeros. And you come and I'll bring you, I don't know, or I'll help you, I don't know. But, what? well, you're not going to use me. I told him, if you want, I told him, if you want to be a bastard, be a bastard. And now okay. I'm leaving you here, I told him. Now I'm leaving you here, I mean, mm -hmm, he couldn't mm -hmm. go back, you know? Because we were already there in the on the line, and, and we passed by, and he was saying that they give you, like, these permits and all that. Well, I turned around and got him off, and I remember that I am there in sarcasm. I took out a fifty dollar and I still threw it to him, and I told him, "Ah, well, what's the use of it?" Yeah, you go. Anyway, I mean, he had his wallet and he was carrying. The only thing he kept was what he was bringing for. So I don't know the context of how long this guy's been in the U.S., but like, if he was one Jesus of those cases Christ. where he was like been in the U.S. like almost his entire life, and then suddenly his crazy ex drops him off. Can you? Be in the US your entire life, like, but if you're born in the US, you automatically get US citizenship, right? That's how I remember this. But if you were just brought over as a baby, you could not be a, you could technically have grown up in it, right? That's crazy, yeah. Yeah, that, wow. Actually, imagine if that was his case. Like, what is he gonna do in fucking Mexico? Did you bring him over to Mexico? Like, bro. Holy Across shit. Across the border. He's alone in the middle of the night with $50. Yeah, I think he regretted cheating. <laughs> Holy shit! What do you even do in that situation? I mean, you are cooked. But again, th this is really banking on how long he's been in the US. Like if he, if he has yeah, a full yeah, yeah. connection network and like knows people and has family in Mexico, that makes things a lot easier for him. But if he was just abandoned there and his whole family is on the state side, oh boy. He's so yeah, fucked. This is definitely a, a very interesting um, ethical uh, litmus test for how Holy you feel the shit. story. Either way, that the whole story is laughably stupid. I mean, I have never heard of this. The fact that she would happily hidden Nap him and then tell the whole story of how she committed this felony for TikTok clout is definitely fascinating. The next day we were going to go to Six Flags and he was bringing prices and he was bringing money and his cell phone and I said, I mean, I didn't really care about it. Then he came back, but from there, I mean, I don't know about his life, but I remember, I mean, that day when I was when I was coming back, I was thinking, oh good, I mean, like, what did I do? I mean, I was going <laughs> back like like one of those times, like like what did I just do? Like as a big oh, girl, now like, she regretted it. Do? This is big, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's really and now, big. I mean, but to this day, I don't regret it. I mean, for me, it's the best thing I've ever done because, yeah, oh. I mean, what I thought, I mean, well, I thought, I mean, I was deceived, but I never used it. Why? Uh, I look at his face. <laughs> I'm. Uh... I'm speechless. Like, I hate cheating, right? But, like, supporting him, for, and especially, like, considering, like, what Atasi said, like, imagine if he was just brought over as a kid. What is he gonna do? What if he has, like, no connections over there? Like, holy shit. Holy shit. And now... I mean, that was my revenge. To this day, I don't feel this bad. This way better ways to I do it. Yeah, feel, yeah, yeah, The truth is, I don't feel bad about it. I mean, I'm like, oh, that's good. I mean, like, and I screwed you? Oh, boy. I guess. He after I and found out. Oh, boy. He she really did. She made some follow-up TikToks where okay. she's essentially just, like, lip-syncing and briefly mentioning this. And also, this is all in Spanish, so I'm literally Google translating this so we can get the oh, context. Yeah. And it's... She said that she brought him over. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that, right? Like the AI translation was wonky. No, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that already. Goddamn. <laughs> Goddamn fucking zero braining out here. You're right. You're right, Gold Fennec. In that case, yeah, fuck him, right? Says, me seeing that what he confessed is a crime and he could settle for that. If my ex sues me for tricking him into taking him or sees this border patrol, we say that we didn't find him. I or guess. I guess that's also why she didn't report him in that case. 
I guess that's also why she didn't report him if because she brought him over because in that case she also like did <clears throat> Yeah. She helped him get over, you know? Imagine if, she, if he didn't even cheat and she was just paranoid. I mean, she saw the logs. The whole point was that he got her to get her into the country to get with another person. Yeah, 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 exactly. Fuck him then. No, fuck him. That it was fuck a him. joke for TikTok and we didn't want to leave him okay or second part in jail. You know, Google Translate clearly is not doing this flawlessly, but we, we get the gist here. Then you have this border TikTok. <laughs> You tricked me, but while you were doing it, I taught my nephews to do this and I screwed you. What a win what? they got to go in Mexico in. Apart from uh that, we have more atmosphere. But before we what? go, some calls for Ray to a few hallucinations at Six Flags. I think to a few delusionals at Six Flags is what I'm assuming this means. So the delusionals who get angry because I return it are the same ones who came looking to get married so they can get fixed and only ended up with child support and no papers. Right. While this story is beyond okay. laughably stupid and bizarre, if this is actually real, that's the definition of kidnapping. <laughs> She kidnapped and is telling her story of how she kidnapped someone yeah, on TikTok for yeah, Cloud. Fascinating. Yeah, I feel like at this yeah. point, TikTok and Kick, the users on those platforms are just going ban for ban. Yeah. She just admitted to it. She just admitted to several crimes on camera. Like, what the fuck? Both on the wrong, but the guy definitely deserves it. If he got her to call, uh, traffic her in just to get one another person, he that kind of had it coming. For the wildest story possible, because what is this? But I mean, hey, at least she didn't humiliate herself like this male Karen cyclist who called the police on anyone. some dude who just simply <laughs> passed him. And it's just an insane story you can check out here oh, that, to put it lightly, bro. really humbles this male Karen. And also, it's yeah, pretty much your last chance yeah, to grab something that. from the Matt City Halloween collection. It's limited oh, and be gone forever after October ends. So we got the full mats of the haunted trick-or-treat neighborhood or mouse mats in all That's sizes. Cute. You can check them out in the description down below. Alongside of the cities that we have currently launched, we also have a moon and Mars base, and we so just released Walking in yeah. DC. But other yeah. than that, I'll see you guys next video. <laughs> that, that was, yeah, yeah, that was something for sure. <laughs> people are crazy, why I stay inside? Yeah, so that's why I'm a VTuber, so I don't have to interact with people face to face, because people outside are scary. Very, very scary. Holy shit. Holy shit, man. <laughs>